Hello, and welcome to one of my speed paints that I've only ever really post. So, um, I am gonna tell you about my process about doing this outfit for this VTuber that I really enjoy watching. So, uh, as you saw in like the first two seconds, I gathered a bunch of references and I was trying to base it off of like, just kind of like the Monkey King kind of thing. I don't really know much about Monkey King. I don't really know much about Sun Wukong or Journey of the West or East. I, to be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember the name anymore. But as you can see, I'm kind of like sketching out some ideas. And I guess I do this every time I concept the design. But usually the first iteration that I sketch out is the final design that I end up with. But here I'm just kind of like messing with the initial sketch that I had and just testing out some poses, you know, trying to get into the flow of things. I haven't drawn any concepts for like character designs or outfits in a long time. So I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So uh, you could just see me messing with the anatomy, just kind of get, getting back into the flow of things, really. Uh, but I got really obsessed with just Kenji in that high ponytail. I don't really know why, but I just felt like I needed to see him in it. So that's what I kind of stuck with. And I'm doing another dynamic pose because, you know, who doesn't love dynamic poses? And I know this was much like a outfit contest. I didn't need to do a whole pose or illustration or anything. I really just needed to draw the outfit. But I decided to go above and beyond, as you saw in the, fi the final illustration in the beginning. But uh, I wanted to get super ambitious, and so I started sketching out other outfit designs, like a more casual look, or just kind of like other iterations of the first design that I had. And there's him flipping off. I am so sorry about that. But a lot of the initial sketches, I kept with the final design. And here I'm just blocking out the pose because I, I couldn't be bothered. Honestly, I was losing my mind figuring out the pose for this because I also wanted to do a turnaround, but just a front and a back view because everyone else was doing it and I felt obligated to do that as well. And so blocking out like the solid shapes helps a lot. Sometimes I use the technique, sometimes I don't. It really just depends on how I'm feeling at the moment or how confident I am with the, the pose. And in this moment, I was not. But here, I am i actually didn't end up finalizing this initial design. This was more of like a, a casual um, outfit for Kenji, but it's still kind of mixed with the traditional like Monkey King aesthetic with like the the waist cloth thing and like the, the floof and the little crown. But I'm sketching the actual outfit or at least a, an iteration of the af actual outfit in this second stand sketch. And I decided to stick with it. So I'm trying to like finalize it, like clean up the sketch, you know, get my thoughts in order. And I actually messed up <laughs> designing this a little bit. Uh, I don't realize it until after I've like dived way too deep into the illustration process, but I forgot his tail. I'm so mad about it. Like even in all these initial sketches, I've only drawn his tail like once and I totally forgot about it. And that is not my fault, I swear. It just, it didn't occur to me to put his tail. But I decided at this point, I was gonna do two designs, one casual, which is gonna be this one, which I ended up not finalizing again, sad faces. But you can see the sketch of what it looks like. Woo! And look, there's a little monkey design on the back. Oh, and there, I actually drew a tail for this one. But you know, I totally forgot for the other one. I guess it's because the cape just kind of had the same idea. And so I totally ignored the tail. So this is me kind of like finalizing or like sketching out the final design for the final outfit that I ended up going with. And so now that I had the outfit in mind, I was like, all right, I need a pose. I want to do this illustration and I became very ambitious. And I hope you guys know that I started this illustration um, literally three days after he announced the contest, which was like the 20 something or maybe. And it only took me like maybe a week before the deadline to finish it. Uh, as you can see, it took me a whole month. <laughs> and that's mostly because I was on and off working on this, but I really did enjoy working on this. It really pushed a lot of my uh, areas that I 
wasn't really strong with, which is a lot of character design, which I really want to be better at. And also just working with different uh, aesthetics. I I don't I can't I can't find the word for it. But uh, if you see all the colors, I was trying to figure out a color palette with his original palette that worked. I ended up sticking with the first one that I did. Again, I, I usually end up sticking with the first one than the other iteration. I don't know why I do it, but it's just the mentality in my brain. And so I was struggling with the pose. I had some advice from my boyfriend who also graduated art with me. Wow, uh, art, art goals. <laughs> But uh, I decided to use a 3D model to kind of fix the pose to make it less awkward. And so I did a whole style shift. I am so sorry about the style shift. It is just a thing that I do every so often. And so I, I decided to go with this pose. I wanted him to kind of like be crouched down, look super cool, like in a, a sort of like monkey fighting stance. I don't know, monkey was in my brain, but again, the monkey tail didn't come up at all during this whole sketching process. Also, the hands were a pain. I hated working on the hands. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. You guys don't see it in this time lapse because I cut it out. <laughs> or I just didn't put it in the video. Or I did it separately. But so, I ended up doing this pose, which is what I ended up sticking with in the final illustration. And so I'm just doing some minor adjustments, trying to fix the arm, the posing, just the sizing, the scale for everything, just to make it look more uniform and accurately correct anatomy wise. And uh, there was a flash of a 3D modeled hand uh, because again, hands are not my strong suits. I really hate drawing hands. And so I'm trying to make everything kind of cohesive, make it all like, you know, your eyes lead back to the center kind of thing. And I really, I really like this brush I was working with. And so I ended up sticking with the sketch and just cleaning it up. And you could just see just me just cleaning all of that up, which is tedious. I'll tell you, it's very, very tedious. And I decided to do it because I usually like how the initial sketch looks like. And it's just a pain to ink everything all over again, because I'm such a perfectionist that I will undo and redo everything and every stroke that I've done. So I figured I would just stick with the initial sketch and just erase and clean up as is, you know, make it look cleaner, nicer, adjust however afterwards. And so I am blocking in the colors now that I had previously, just kind of getting a good idea. I already know what Kenji's design looked like. So I had the reference still pulled up on the side and I decided to just go for it, you know? I haven't done an ambitious illustration like this in a long time. And I think it just helps, it helps me personally because I wanna focus more on making illustrations and focus more on making a lot of art in the future as well as just art for you guys to watch. It's just, I, I just don't have enough time to do it. And when I do, I just have to like edit so much I'm a one I'm a one man show at the moment. So everything I do is just off the safety of my apartment, you know. But so I'm adding details here and there because usually whenever I do illustrations or character designs, I lack a lot of just the minor details, like little strips in the cloth, the scarf, the little like flames and just the gradient. Everything about it, I always forget like minor details like that even the like the slight gradient in the pants you know just to give it more I, I, I don't really know how to explain it visually <laughs> but you could just see that like adding very minor details it's not my strong suit like the flames in the the blue like uh hip like waist cape thing I don't know what it's called it looked cool uh that that was last minute as well as the flames in the sleeves but here I'm just kind of blocking in the shading. Usually I block it in without the colors, but for some reason I decided to leave the colors on. I guess it's just to see where the shading is compared to the gray background. And usually this part is not as bad as I think it usually is. Shading used to be such a pain because I used to be super tedious with how or where I would shade 
versus just blocking out giant like portions of areas to just darken and then i did a like a gradient towards the bottom just to kind of lead the eyes up to like the face which is the main subject of this illustration is to focus your eyes on the face and i'm going in adding like some highlights you know highlights aren't my strong suit anymore i used to do like super strong highlights i used to get really crazy with it too and i was experimenting a little bit with my illustrations i've never done anything like this and so i thought why not so here i am just working on the background backgrounds weren't my strong suit i've gotten better at it because i work for a small local animation company doing backgrounds and stuff so i've been disciplined hooray uh i'm still not good at illustration you know sometimes it's just kind of like imitating things that aren't really reading as like things that i'm supposed to draw like these tall boulder things i wanted it to be like the tall like towering rock that kind of like from avatar the last airbender you know in that one episode i can't really remember what episode it was though but i wanted it to be something similar like that and kenji just kind of stands on one of the the stone pillars all stoically looking all cool you know i had a i had a vision in mind when i made this and i think i i'm, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of credit I think I executed this pretty well, despite, you know, going through a lot of iterations and different types of, like, um, details that I had to fix and go back and just, like, see, like, I'm going back here to fix the shine or, like, the, the gold detail on the staff and, like, the, the wrist plates, the ankle plates, even, like, the crown and, like, the, the hair tie thing, because, and the, sh the arm pads, too because they're supposed to be gold, you know? And rendering metal and gold is really difficult for me. I've I've gotten away with it a little bit, you know, just adding a bronze color and like a hard highlight and just kind of muting it. So here I'm just kind of like adding in pretty highlights, pretty things, making it look very nice and colorful. The thing I pride myself the most about my illustrations is that I like to make it very colorful and super saturated for no reason. It doesn't need to be uh, like I had to go back and darken the background a little bit because the colors were too bright. So here you can see just my initial sketch, then the finalized kind of sketch look, flat colors, the backgrounds, and then I go back in with the rendering, and then last but not least, just the pretty filters and the colors, you know? I had a lot of fun working on this, honest to God. But now, you're gonna see me sketch out the turnaround. We love a turnaround. Um, there's not much I can say about this turnaround other than the style shift. <laughs> I hate the style shift so much. <laughs> I swear my style is consistent when I want it to be. Like, the way Kenji looks in this turnaround is closer to my normal style than the actual illustration. It's because I used a 3D model that it just kind of warped what my style looked like. But in this one, it's more freestyle, more freehand, and more just kind of like out of my brain. You know, I, my brain was melting at this point. This was the last thing that I did. Like, I finished the illustration first, and then I did the turnaround. And the turnaround was so last minute, too. Like, it was like four days before submissions. I was like, I gotta get this turnaround done. <laughs> but enough of talking about how my progress or my process was. Um, let's talk about just the experience I had. Uh, the whole experience was actually very meaningful to me. You know, it was, it's been a, a while since I've done a lot of some concept art. I graduated with a degree to do concept art, and I literally followed it for like maybe a couple months before not pursuing it anymore. Because concept art is difficult, honest to God. Like, it's so hard to design a character that is cohesive to whatever the story or the narrative is, if that makes sense. Like for me, I can design my own characters for my own stories because I know how they look like. But when it comes to someone else's visions for what the concept looks like, I tend to underestimate the task and then the final result ends up being very plain looking. Because, again, 
I'm better suited for designing my own characters versus, you know, a character that someone commissions me to do or anything like that, or that is work related. And going back into art, just in this sense, making this outfit for Kenji, as well as just pushing the limits of what I already know and what I can do was very, very useful. I got a lot out of this. Uh, I know that, you know, Kenji liked this. I saw the stream. I was very happy with the result, you know. And I'm very happy that he enjoyed my art a lot and a lot of people did too. Of course, people pointed out that there's no tail. I'm so sorry about the tail. But um, I hope to better my art to be able to make stuff like this in the future. And I really enjoyed making this for Kenji. And I really enjoyed just participating in something like this. Because it's been a while since I've participated in anything outside of just my own stuff. Because I am very antisocial. I'm very shy. I don't like participating in communities and stuff because I'm very scared of people. People scare me and socializing with people is very scary. I was never like this before, but you know, stuff happens. Life, uh, I like to have my own space. And so doing this kind of took me out of that comfort zone to interact with the community, which the community is very nice. I'm very happy with the community. I've watched Kenji's YouTube videos for a long time now. I've only recently, like maybe two, three months in, started watching his Twitch, you know, live. And they're so much fun. They're so exciting to do. And I am so excited for, you know, any new projects that Kenji has cooking up, you know, another design contest because, oh, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm warming up my skills, you know, but I am also very excited to work on my own projects with what I learned coming out of this. But here is the final turn and here's the final illustration for you guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.